So Fabiano Caruana won his game against Alireza Ferruja. It was an interesting fight. Uh, perhaps you could take us for the key moments. Uh, Fabiano, what was, uh, when what, did you understand that you could win the game? Well, it was a very tough game. I mean, really, really complicated, even in the end game. Um, okay, I thought I had a nice small advantage, but uh, I mean, I came up with this interesting idea of bishop c4. It's, an, it's a new move. Um, one and then bishop c4. Very okay. complicated position, of course. Black can play in many different ways. I think how Ali Reza played is, is possible, but it's not the one which I knew the best. So after queen a5, I, I already didn't know the position. Uh, Here. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought the end game was slightly better, but it, I didn't probably find the right path because I think my advantage was more or less disappearing at some point. Um, uh, so what about you, Ali Reza? Uh, how was this game developing for you? Did you, uh, were you satisfied at this moment? Yeah, I thought um, I got decent position. Maybe I had to go queen before. I mean, end game is okay, of course. I, I thought queen before, maybe I could keep okay. my chances, but um, queen e2, bishop e6. But yeah, still white is probably better. But I thought this end game I should be okay, but not easy. Eh? Yeah, so here is the end game that you reached. Um, yeah, and then somehow in the end game, uh, it was not easy indeed, and you just started to slowly um, outplay. So, what do you think was the critical mistake for Black? Uh, I think after f5, I, I overlooked this move. It looked very, very good because I thought I was slightly better. I thought it was kind of unpleasant after knight d5, but then f5 is a very nice resource because I was looking at either e5 or bishop d5 or something like this, but. Uh, yeah, I take and mm -hmm. quite nice position, I think, for white. Knight takes and, for example, rook f6 and just much better pieces. But maybe it's not so much, but f5, I, I thought it's a very nice move. And after c4 should be equal I, I, somehow. Um, but take, take and c, yeah. Yeah, c4. But king g7 gave me this chance. That then I'm pressing. I don't know, maybe it wasn't the correct move. Because this king d1 was, I think, quite important. It's the best square for the king. And uh, I think rookie one also to keep, otherwise it's just a draw, rookie one. Uh, like after bishop d3, I thought maybe rook c e8 is, is just a draw instead of rook c f8. Uh, so instead of rook c f8, just uh, rook, rook c e8, e8 yeah. Mm -hmm. And i probably take, but uh, or play g3, but I, I maybe g3, rookie one, king e1, h4, take on h4, and felt like black is very active and bishop on c6 is very good so rook h4 and if bishop f5 then uh, something here I thought should be a clean draw uh, like maybe rook h2 rook d2 rook h4 for example just repeating huh? I mean white well white can play rook f2 I mean white presses a bit but I guess maybe it's, uh, instead of bishop f5 king d2 no Yeah, but here I thought that king f6, or sorry, not no, no, uh, not king f6. Um, what was I thinking here? Maybe king f6, I don't know. It's take king e7, rook d4. I don't know if I'll make progress, but hey, it's not, not pleasant for black, of course. I oh, know, you know what I thought it was uh, rook h2, king c3, rook h3. That's that's what I was calculating after king d2. Okay, sorry, uh, king d2. Rook h2, king c3, rook h3. I didn't see how to. Yeah, but takes. Take uh, rook f3, rook d4, bishop b4. I thought this was a draw. B4 then. Yeah, maybe I can run with my pawns, but I don't know. The bishop, like. Or c5. Oh, yeah, it should be drawn. Yeah. Yeah, I missed rook b8. So you didn't uh, didn't consider this move at all, or just uh, didn't no, like the continuation? I didn't, know, I didn't have time, and hmm. I blundered. Yeah, then I think it's very important this uh, idea I found. I don't know after c5, h4, rook e7, king g6, rook e5. I wasn't sure because it's also quite double-edged. I mean, with like three minutes. So, but I thought that white is has very good winning chances. Like if bishop takes g2. 
Rook bishop f5. King. Rook f5, no? I thought bishop f5 wins. Rook f5. Uh, rook d6. Cd. And. Uh, looks very strong. Maybe hide the bishop on f3 and then rook d8. Where do you go? King, I guess king d2, I don't know. Rook d8. Yeah, with rook f8. Oh, there's rook f8. Rook okay, f8, yeah. yeah. Can't just, hide anywhere. Maybe king g7. King g7, yeah. Uh, but what's wrong with bishop takes f5? I thought it's winning. Uh, although I wasn't so sure. Here, yeah, just bishop f5. Because, okay, king uh, g7 is forced. Rook e7, king f8, and rook c7. I didn't see a move for black here. Okay, taking is forced. Take, and I promote my pawn. So I, that's what I was calculating. No, but then, um, then here I take on d6, no? Ah, uh, you can do it this move order. Ah, it wins, yeah. Bishop c6. Ah, oh, bishop c6. Yeah, this is... Maybe it's holding. Yeah, it might be a draw. King, so bishop f3. Maybe king e1, so I can chase the... No, but the pawn will be queen, yeah? Yeah, I can't stop this pawn. Check. King Wait, f6. King d2, king g7, check. King f6. Check. f5. Even bishop d5, yeah? Yeah, this is very double-edged now. Yeah. Yeah, this holds then, yeah. But it's, yeah, difficult uh, position. So then rook h5 is not a mistake, it means... I mean, maybe bishop f1, maybe bishop f1, rook h8, but I thought then I just move my rook back, like rook h8, rook d4, or rook d2, I don't know, and then I bring my king to f2, and slowly I might be winning this position. King e1, king f2, and... Yeah, d is winning. Hmm. Like when you yeah, but I thought maybe after later there was still some chance, but okay, we were down to second, so it was very, very difficult to play. Yeah, so this is how it went, and um, so you I mean somewhere here could be some more chances for black, right? Maybe, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah, I thought king f6 instead of bishop f7, but bishop b5 anyway. Uh, bishop b6, rook a7. Yeah, rook d6, rook d7 is the same mm -hmm. story. So, And bishop e6, rook a7. Rook d6, rook a6, and rook d4, king e3. Should be rook e4, king f3, and yeah. black is not in getting counterplay now. Rook a5 next, and white should mm -hmm. win, I think. So after this smoke cleared, uh, somewhere around here, like white got the pawn, and like, the position is looking great. So did you already feel that you're just completely winning in a technical position? Or did you still feel that some, there are some chances for black? I don't know. I thought after time control I sh I'm winning, but mm -hmm. I guess you know better <laughs> than I do. I don't know. It, it felt winning to me. Um, like the bishop endgame, I don't think black has any hopes. Uh, because if I get b4, it's just hopeless. I just bring my king to h3, put bishop on f3 or e2. and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so very soon it was over. Um, Fabiano, you're now very close to the leaders. And um, after your game with Nakamura, Hikaru actually said that uh, the pressure of being so close to the leaders, but still behind, could influence your decisions in the game against him. So do you think there is reasoning in these words? Uh, do you agree with Hikaru, basically? Yeah, it's, it's of course difficult. I mean, whether you're behind or, uh, or close, it's... Very difficult. I mean, you have to play 14 games, and there's tiredness and nerves and uh, and uh, a lot of emotions and uh, and the pressure. I mean, everyone is is having some um, some bad moments. I I had my worst moment against Hikaru in this tournament. Uh, so, uh, luckily, um, I'm still fighting, 
it of course couldn't could have been that things were going even even worse after that but but this win was very important for me Andreas, and for you uh you don't have that many chances anymore in the tournament let's be objective um so how do you think you will proceed in the next games will you risk a lot or will you just try to be solid do you have um any feeling about it right now i have white after tomorrow against nijat so i will try to get a win there so we'll see game by game do we have some questions for our players from the audience yes please uh Risa, <clears throat> there was some trouble yesterday that you had with the arbiter. Did it somehow influence your play today? Um, Settled the conflict? No, I mean, uh, it didn't. Today, it didn't influence my game because um, nothing happened. So, um, yeah, it was an unfortunate incident. It's today than yesterday? No. Same one. Do we have more questions? Ali Reza, when you were considering that temporary queen sacrifice, you were sort of smiling and laughing. Can you tell us wh what was funny at that at that moment? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's pity that I have to play this end game and. Um, I felt like uh, White could have played Knight takes C6, and I think it was um, maybe big advantage even Knight C6 F4. But um, but yeah, Knight B3 I didn't expect, and then suddenly Queen G5 is kind of only move. So uh, it was at this point of tournament I have to defend the end game. It's very unpleasant. Do we have any more questions? Yes, please. Uh, the microphone is there. Okay. Uh, there was a moment after bishop e6, and you, Fabiani, you played bishop e2. Did you consider the move e5? Yeah, so in this moment, instead e5. of bishop b2, just oh, wow. play e5. Uh, first take is 6. Okay. Fe6, e5. Yeah, it's a beautiful idea. Of course, white, black cannot take with the knight. It loses a piece, so. Uh, and d5. Knight c5 looks very. I, I just didn't see this idea, um, which is a, a pity because it looks very interesting. Maybe maybe even very good for for white too. Yeah. No, no, I didn't see it. Uh, otherwise, I I might I don't know might have played it because it looks promising. Yeah. Yeah, it's winning. Yeah. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks very good for white. <laughs> All right, if there are no more questions, then we can let our players, players go and uh, rest. Tomorrow is a free day, so uh, we'll wait for you with new energy and new ideas. Thank you. Thank you.